Hey there, future cybersecurity ninjas. Let's talk about ethical hacking. It's like being the Liam Neeson of the internet, except instead of rescuing kidnapped daughters, you're rescuing data and maybe the occasional cat video. In a world where data is the new gold, cybersecurity is paramount. Think of it as the digital locks on your digital doors. But locks can be picked, and that's where ethical hackers come in. They're the good guys and gals who find the vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. Now before you grab your Guy Fox mask and start downloading suspicious software, a disclaimer everything discussed here is strictly for educational purposes. We're talking about ethical hacking, which means always operating within the law and with permission. Think of it like this. You wouldn't practice your ninja moves on your grandma without her consent, right? So why is ethical hacking so important? Imagine this. A bank has a security flaw in their online banking system. A malicious hacker finds it. Poof. Your life savings vanish faster than a politician's promise during an election year. Ethical hackers prevent this. They find the flaws first and report them. This allows companies to fix vulnerabilities before the bad guys exploit them. It's like finding a loose brick in your house before it becomes a gaping hole. But remember, ethical hacking isn't just about finding vulnerabilities, it's about doing it responsibly. It's like having a superpower. You can use it for good or evil. We're here to make sure you choose good, or at least the side that doesn't land you in digital jail. Let's talk fishing. No, not the kind with rods and reels, although I hear digital fish can be quite tasty. Phishing is when cyber criminals trick you into giving them sensitive information. Think of it as digital bait. They cast out a lure, hoping you'll bite. These lures can look pretty convincing. They might be emails pretending to be from your bank, social media messages asking for your password, or even fake websites that look identical to the real deal. The goal is always the same, to steal your information. And the consequences of taking the bait? Not pretty. We're talking identity theft, financial loss, and enough digital headaches to make your head spin faster than a hard drive on overdrive. So how do you avoid becoming a phishing victim? Glad you asked. Recognizing phishing attempts is like spotting a fake Rolex. It might look convincing from afar, but get a little closer and the cracks start to show. Phishing emails often have typos, grammatical errors, and suspicious sender addresses. Hover over links before clicking to see where they really lead. Be wary of unsolicited requests for personal information. Legitimate organizations will never ask for your password or credit card details via email or social media. If something feels off, trust your gut. It's probably right. Remember, staying safe online is a team effort. If you spot a phishing attempt, report it. You could save someone else from becoming a victim. Now let's dive into the world of Kali Linux and Fisher, the tools of the ethical hacking trade. Section 5. Introduction to Kali Linux. Welcome to the world of Kali Linux, the ethical hacker's best friend. Think of it as a Swiss army knife for cybersecurity professionals. It's a Debian-based operating system packed with tools for penetration testing, security auditing, and you guessed it, ethical hacking. Why Kali Linux? Well, it comes pre-installed with over 600 penetration testing tools. That's like having a whole arsenal of digital lockpicks at your fingertips. Plus, it's free, open source, and has a massive online community for support. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Kali Linux is a powerful tool. In the wrong hands, it can be used for malicious purposes. But in the right hands, it can be used to make the internet a safer place. And that's where Zfisher comes in. Section 6, Zvisher, your ethical phishing toolkit. Meet Zvisher, your ethical phishing toolkit. This ingenious tool allows you to simulate real-world phishing attacks in a safe and controlled environment. Think of it as a flight simulator for ethical hackers. You get to practice your skills without crashing a real plane. Zvisher offers a smorgasbord of features. It can create fake login pages for popular websites, send phishing emails, and even capture credentials. But remember, we're using this for good. The goal is to learn how phishing attacks work so we can better defend against them. With Zvisher, you can test your own defenses, train your employees, and raise awareness about phishing attacks. It's like giving your cybersecurity a booster shot. So are you ready to become a Zvisher Pro? Let's get this show on the road. Section 7. Installing Zvisher on Kali Linux. Installing Zvisher on Kali Linux is as easy as ordering takeout. First, fire up your terminal. 
it's time to get our hands dirty with some code. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. Type in the following commands, hitting enter after each one. Git clone https dash slash slash github dot com slash htr dash text slash fisher dot git comma cds fisher kmod plus x fisher dot comma bash fisher dot shape. Congratulations, you've successfully installed Fisher. Now let's launch this bad boy and start fishing. Ethically, of course. Section 8. Using Zfisher for Ethical Hacking Zfisher is incredibly user-friendly. It's like having a GPS for ethical hacking. Once launched, you'll be greeted by a menu with various options. You can choose your attack vector, customize your phishing page, and even track your victims. Don't worry, they'll be willing participants in this ethical hacking scenario. Remember, always obtain explicit permission before conducting any phishing tests. Transparency is key. Explain the purpose, the risks, and the learning outcomes. It's about educating, not exploiting. After each test, debrief your participants. Explain how the attack worked, how to recognize phishing attempts in the future, and the importance of strong passwords and two-factor authentication. Knowledge is power, and you're the professor of phishing prevention. Section 9. Staying Safe in the Digital Age Congratulations, you've journeyed into the world of ethical hacking, explored the dangers of phishing, and mastered the art of Zfisher. But your journey doesn't end here. The digital landscape is constantly evolving, and so should your cybersecurity awareness. Stay informed about the latest threats, keep your software updated, and practice good digital hygiene. It's like brushing your teeth for your digital self. And remember, ethical hacking is a continuous learning process. So keep experimenting, keep learning, and keep the internet safe, one phishing test at a time. Now go forth, my ethical hacking Padawans, and use your newfound powers for good.